Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Avorian. And we are in the Gateway Sector, and most, if not all, the ships have arrived at this point. And I'm just starting to get the ships in position. So you maybe notice the red light came on on that asteroid when I flew near it. This is asteroid number one. And Millie has the number one, so it's an artifact on it. Lighting it up. Uh, so, can you guess what you have to do? That's right. You need to take the system that you have. So, the salvager here has, well, this is going to be my number four. So, then you find the number four asteroid. That's one, that's two. So be that one. And you want to light up all of the asteroids, all eight. That is the plan. There we go. Light lit. Come to a stop. There we go. Um, the SR2, we need to move into position. Now the SR2, had the and annoyingly the game seems to have lost the uh, the classes I put on them deliberately so that I could do this. That's three and that's two. So five is this one. Good, good, good. The beacons are lit. Monroe calls for aid. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Onion. Now, Onion had the seven. Uh, to the next to three, four. There we go. Seven's over there. Which means the last one to light is number three and we're going to do that with the war spy now when you're preparing for this i highly recommend that you get all of the ships that you're probably going to want in the action um because uh once you're able to go across the barrier uh, you kind of want to make the best of that. And you can't get back across until you pick up Avorian. So do be aware that uh, once you've opened this gateway, you have a limited window to use it, and then you have to repeat this process if you want to use it again. Um, but once you get hold of Avorian, you can, uh, you can jump across subspace rifts, and you don't care. Yeah, games cannot express how big space is. So I think if they did, um, people would go mad. Kerbal Space Program is not far off. There we go. Gate open. And someone's coming out of it. Zotan. So, unfortunately... This is uh, not an undefended wormhole. Hopefully War Spike can take most of the hits. Uh, and the other ships will kind of stay out of it. Pretty sure if we uh, get nice and close. Now again, don't go through the barrier and leave your uh, civilian ships to well, the, through the wormhole by accident. You kind of want to make sure that you uh, take out all the Zotan. Not that uh, my ships are defenceless by any means. 
but uh, I kind of don't want them getting obliterated. There's a Zotan battleship right above me. Just want to move sideways a bit so I don't accidentally. There we go. Uh, that is a big boy. Does look cool though. Boom! No more so down battleship. There's another one. However, and it's proving surprisingly tough. Grr. my words. That's a really tough ship. Uh, it still has about 200,000 shields on it. Really wish I'd been able to get that, those upgraded uh, turrets, but uh, oh well. Now that we're uh, close to crossing the barrier, we're going to find a lot more fancy stuff. Hopefully. A few of the other ships are actually getting involved but I uh, don't particularly want them to. Take any fire at any rate. Come on! Yeah, I think, um, you know, aside, aside from if you're building something like Kerbal, which even then does scale down what space is like a fair bit, um, it's going to be hard to have a fun game like uh, an asteroid field where you're kind of like dodging in and out of asteroids just like a staple of most science fiction space stories yeah that's not what they look like <laughs> at all okay we are clear of Zotan I'd like to wait just a tick for the uh, loot collection to uh, realise that it can activate. Please. Maybe if I send out salvages, that'll trigger it. game's just struggling with the amount of stuff that has dropped. Anyway, once you've defeated the Guardians, you have, I think it's about half an hour um, to go through the wormhole, so there's there's no actual rush, but uh, it'd be nice if uh, the game would realise that I can collect all this loot. I think the fighters are picking up one or two bits. But uh, normally it just takes a little while, and then it goes, oh yeah. I mean, or not. Alright, let's recover the fighters. I can always use another ship to collect it. And let's head through to the other side. Wormhole time. Through we go. And there we go. 
we are on the other side of the barrier right here so what I'm very quickly going to do is I am going to basically order all ships to head through the wormhole to this side And we'll switch over to, let's watch this from Onion's point of view. Uh, all the ships should should head through. Yeah, lots of reds dropped. I'm kind of hoping. Oh, Onion's already through. Please don't have just jumped. You did as well. Right, I'm very quickly you're just gonna pop back with normally SL1. It's my weakest ship. See if that triggers the loot collection. Uh, yeah, I think we did pick up all the loot because it's all gone. I should have a bunch of new items. Them. I think they weren't reds, they were petties that you saw. <laughs> but uh, we're through. We made it. We did it. Um, and there's just a lot of empty space here. But I noticed that the Uskrim, this gate goes somewhere. Uh, who has the best scanner? Probably the war spike can start getting rid of their custom uh, custom classes, which now the game remembers. Right? Yep. Yeah, war spike's got the best scanner. Oh, might actually be the sector all the way over here. Okay, so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to order, well, slowly, I'm going to order everyone to head up to that sector up there. But, uh, we'll get rid of the classifications to start with. Because that, that is going to drive me nuts. Okay, SR1. You are now ready to travel up there, please. Uh, the Millie. Oh, this day we made a single jump. Just go there then. Onion. Oh, I mean, you can make it in a single jump as well. Maybe the minor. You're going to want to be in some safe sectors. <laughs> Trafalgar. So, thingy. We're going to be our escort ship. Salger, who we can order to go as well. Uh, 
Trafalgar is a mean ship. She was my uh, primary attack ship for some time, actually. Um, tell you what, uh, Millie the Salvager, can you just salvage here for now? We'll just stay here as a bit of an escort. Because now we're over the barrier, what we really want to do is we want to find Ogonite and we want to find Avorian and we want to get to exploring. But uh, really handy that the, uh, the Uskrim up here, who we're already good relations with. Um, and it looks like this, there's, a, there's a gate over here as well. So really, really handy. Right, SR1. What happens if I put you on a scout order? You're probably going to go flip out at me. Yeah, you are. Uh, what about if you take Millie with you? Okay, good. Start exploring that area then. Thank you very much. And I'll get uh, Trafalgar to look after the SR2. Now, Millie the Miner has arrived in system. Good, 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 good. <laughs> but this was one of the things I wanted to get done before making the server live. So the only thing I'm waiting for now... Oh, snack time. Thanks, Jackie Chan. I'm actually going to stop for lunch uh, soonish. Um, the plan is once version 2 comes out of beta I will then make it a server because I don't want people to have to fuss around with beta branch and stuff like that uh, for the community server but once that's all fixed up then uh, I will turn the save over. I will obviously keep playing it because oh, I do love some of Orient let's go for mining yeah there we go Probably won't find much Ogonite just this side of the barrier, but uh, I'm pretty sure Millie the Miner does have, yeah, has a pro class exceptional mining system, so you can see all the way up to Avorian already, which is pretty darn handy. Okay, Millie the Salvage is doing a thing. Okay, Trafalgar, go to that system, along with the SR2, please. Let's see what we find over there. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, PC gaming. Definitely. No, um, if you are looking to get a PC, just buying your own, or uh, looking to uh, build, which at the, I normally recommend, but I won't at the moment, because of the issues around it, um, and getting parts, um, if, if, yeah, just give me a shout, and I'll guide you through it. <laughs> Because it can be a little bit intimidating. There's a PC build section of the Discord as well. If you're uh, wanting to check that out. I'm just wondering... If... No, no scrap organite. I, I haven't found any of it yet. Although I do now have the quest for it, and we're close enough to get the build the building nods for it already. 
Okay, so all I need to do is clear a pirate sector. Hmm. Okay. Kind of want to uh, tiny these uh, wrecks up first. I don't have the first clue about computers. Like, honestly, um, it's a couple of years ago now, but, uh, you know, I, um, in an afternoon, I, well, a couple of afternoons, I was able to teach um, some secondary school kids how to, you know, find the bits put and put them together. Like, it's, it's something that sounds really difficult, but it's really easy. Really easy. Although I do recommend that the first time you do it, you have someone on hand to guide you through it, because there's, there's quite a lot of weird issues that can sometimes crop up. Um, but that's usually more the software side, or if you buy bits that don't work together. Yeah, the hard bit is the software. And to their credit, Windows 10 now is so much better than it used to be. Like, as soon as you install Windows 10 and you get it installed, it'll it'll do most of the rest of the work for you. It's not like the old days where you had to hunt down every particular driver. But yeah, the, the software side of it, to get that working and right, is much harder. <laughs> the hardware side of it's easy, getting it to boot up. But uh, if you just buy the little... Uh, ah, I've got one. Here. Like you just buy one of these Windows key things, shove it in, um, and away you go. DOS Shell 3.11. Wow. <laughs> First computer I used used Mac System 6, black and white. Oh, modding laptops. Wow, that, that's advanced. <laughs> it, it can be done. Like, swapping out a hard drive in a laptop's pretty easy. You can sometimes fit, like, coolers and stuff, changing RAM. Um, laptops are hard. Much, much more fiddly. Difficult to work with. They're often hard to open as well. Um, that's crazy. Do I recommend PC part picker to check if your parts fit together? Uh, you can do that, but um, much better to have someone with who, who knows what they're doing, help you out with it. Because um, uh, certainly I know if you're going for an AMD processor, some they'll say, oh yeah, they, they work together. And they do. Like, the CPU will physically fit in the motherboard. But you have to do fat, funny things with the BIOS or the EFI to get it to actually work. So... Yeah, you, you do have to be careful with that. The, what they are really useful for is checking that your power supply is powerful enough. Um, most most power supplies are way too much, but it is useful to check that. And it also gives you an idea of... like You want a lot, quite a lot of overhead um, so that your power supply is quiet. You don't want it running at max. Um, but you can save money by you know, making sure that you just about have enough power. It's different ways of approaching it. But yeah, tools like that are pretty handy. Ah, so much scrap. It's brilliant. Right, what have we got over here? Still the Uskrim. Okay. And there's a gate going uh, this away. And a little section over here. Uh. Interesting. Right, let's have a quick look at what's kind of here. Uh, you can take Trafalgar with you. Yeah, and then we'll hop across and have a look, look what's over here. Uh, that, that'll give us a bit of an idea of what we're dealing with over on this side of the barrier. Sandwiching operation is nearly finished.
<laughs> oh my god, Windows ME. Oh Jesus, that was bad. That's probably the worst Windows. Um, I mean, 3.1 was pretty shite as well. <laughs> um, 98 wasn't great. <laughs> but Windows ME, oh my good lord, that was shockingly crap. Oh yeah, Vista. Vista was pretty bad. 8 was pretty unpopular as well. Um, I, I basically, using Windows, um, or computers I've owned that have run Windows, I basically went XP710. <laughs> uh, but, but when I was younger, I used 95, 98. 2000 NT. Yeah, I did see a couple of computers running ME, but fuck me, no. Just no. Um, yeah, it, it, like Vista and 8 are okay. Like, the main problem with Vista was the system requirements, which they're repeating mistake with Windows 11. Um, it's just for me, uh, 7 and 10 were really nice, stable releases where they. They worked out a lot of the kinks with the previous version, like Vista turned into Seven. I mean, Seven is basically Vista, but with the Vistaness fixed. <laughs> and uh, same for Ten. Ten is basically Eight, but uh, with um, with the Eightness fixed up, I have a letter. Destroy the Guardian. Uh, alien ships have walked in. Uh, they shouldn't be hostile, but uh, just for fun, <laughs> let's make them hostile. See what we're up against on this side. Okay, so you can take out a small Zotan fleet. Good to know. Uh, Millie the Salvage is already on the case. Uh, could you make a computer out of console parts, or does that just not work? Um, the, the, the tricky thing is the CPU. So, consoles have a very particular specialized CPU in them um, and GPU uh, that you can't just use generically in a generic system um, so no but they do use ordinary hard drives and stuff well a really common mod is to take a say an Xbox or a PlayStation take out the hard drive and put in a better one um, And uh, hello there, Dalton. <laughs> I was just talking about Vista. I hadn't realised that you just popped into the chat. <laughs> uh, yeah, run Linux. Yeah, run Linux hacks and stuff like that. I mean, Linux will run on quite a lot of things. Right, did the SL1... Oh, SL1 has actually finished. 
Okay, uh, right. Where I would like you to go is to the other side, over here then. So go over there, uh, with the melee. Quick again, off you go. And then Onion is arriving here. Have you got any trade routes over here? Yeah, for anti-grave units, but uh, the risk of being ambushed is quite high. So uh, what I would like you to do, Onion, is move. Uh, okay, just go there. Just do that. Uh, War Spike, we are going to go check out that turret supply. Although, is there an equipment block over here that we found? No, <laughs> of course not. Uh, but that turret factory could be useful. So we'll jump to there and then we'll use the gate. I'm pretty sure we're done salvaging. Almost. Uh, so, Millie the Salvager, uh, pack your stuff up and head over there. Uh, as for us, we are going to jump here. Then we'll go through the gate. Twelve thirty lunchtime. Yep, yeah, absolutely. I'm just gonna um, check to see if I can replicate those turrets, and I'll do all that off camera. What are you doing, Millie? She's up to something. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll go and get some lunch. Um, that'll be it for Avorian for today. Uh, probably for the week, actually. I'm kind of hoping that um, it'll come out of beta version 2 over the weekend. And then by the time it comes back around to Tuesday, when I'll probably be streaming it again, then um, I will... Uh, I'll be able to um, say that it's a multiplayer server. So that's the plan. Um, but uh, if not, I will be just be continuing to play it until that does happen. I don't know what she's up to. Sometimes she goes off and she like steals one of my daughter's toys. She goes, no. no, she's just being ridiculous. No, technically level 37. God damn it. Oh well. Um, it's like we're going to have to get even closer, but. Uh, this area looks promising over here for uh, getting some more resources and stuff. Right, SR1. I can't want you to explore this area because this looks inhabited. And inhabited areas in the center are very nice. Go. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here and I will be back later on Tuesday with some more of Orion. and uh, if you're watching this on YouTube uh, it should be a new episode tomorrow um, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon